Hey everyone and welcome to the Infinite Respawn Podcast. I'm Chicken. I'm Oak Tree. I'm Griff. I'm Baka. What's up, guys? What's up? How's it going? Uh, it's going? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a Sunday. Played games all you week. don't say. Yeah, I know. It's a Sunday <laughs> for us right now, but I mean, whenever people are listening to this, it will not be Sunday because nobody it's hears It's actually us. Monday right now. <laughs> yeah. from, the past. from the world of tomorrow technically we are in the world of tomorrow because when people are listening to no this, we'll be, be in the past Actually, no we're in the world of yesterday yeah what if what if i talk in present future shut up <laughs> what, what games are we playing this week you guys <laughs> uh i'll go first because mine were, mine were easy um okay. mine were easy mine are easy i don't know anyway uh, easy Oak only plays easy words. games gotcha <laughs> Ah, Damn. you got jokes. Damn. Let's see how you Damn. are. Starting off on fire. Uh, I started the uh, Halo Combat Evolved. Um, well, actually, Halo in general, like doing the whole series, started with Reach. Uh, I really, and I always tell people all the time, you've all heard me say this, that Halo Reach is my least favorite of the Halo games. Which is mm-hmm. a shame, because it's so good. It, it is really good, but... It, it's kind of like saying it's my least favorite cookie. It's still a fucking cookie. You know what I mean? It's still it's, really good. It's still really good, but I just prefer, you know, the whole Master Chief stuff. So, um, the, uh, so we play, I played through Reach, um, the ending right after the credits every fucking time. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to tear up and cry every time. Um, and then, uh, then I started Combat Evolved and, uh, I am very upset because combat evolved. One of my favorite parts, and people are going to think I'm nuts for this. One of my favorite parts is actually the end when you're driving through the whole thing. I love yeah. that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the fucking game would not let me progress past a certain point. One of the doors wouldn't open, so it was bugged up, and I was like, fuck it. Then I thought about it afterwards, and you asked Griff. <laughs> this a matter of regrets because Halo 2, I had finished, I went ahead and started because I was like, okay, guys, this is what's supposed to happen. And then just went ahead and started Halo 2 so I could move the stream on. And then I remembered, oh wait, I'm playing the the uh, Master Chief Collection. I've already already played all, I've already played through these. I could have just gone to the chapter I needed to start on and went from there and finished the game. But I didn't think about that. So, um, so I'm on Halo 2 now. I'm about to get to the point, that whole level, uh, to where then I can start ODST. Yeah. right in the middle of it and then after ODST go right back into Halo 2 again so I'm excited about Hell that because yeah. I think it'd be a cool transition to do uh, and then I played Sea of Thieves yesterday for about 9 hours Fire um, Legend yet? not yet not yet uh, one of the guys last night though that was on the ship uh, Bones he's 50 now he was at 49 50, 49, and 45 Ooh, he's close. He's so close. And so we were running a couple of merchant things last night. Um, uh, we didn't run into a whole lot of issues with galleons or anything like that last night. Uh, we just kind of, it was mainly about the statues. So, which I'm going to go on a sloop today and, and pick up some more statues and see if I can get as many of those commendations as I can before that's gone. I think they're probably going to give us another week since... Oh, definitely. Because, you know, this week's going to be the commendations, and next week they'll end it and start the the thing. Yep. The curse sales. So, um, but that's all I did. I didn't, I didn't, don't think I played anything else other than playing with y'all on Tuesday night with Killing Floor 2. So, here's yep. it. Uh, well, my afternoons have been busy with, uh, with a certain Cuphead game. I'm almost done with it. I spent two hours on the Dice King. That guy. That guy is ridiculous. First of all, you have to play a game of root, like dice and to get to the end, which is his fight. And it's uh, like 12 or 15 spaces, and you can only move a maximum of three. In each little section, there's three types of bo- three different bosses in each area. So you have to fight all of those bosses, and then you have to fight the guy with whatever you have left. But luckily, there are, like, one-up spots in each of the areas, so you can try to get a health up and then clean the boss without getting hit, and then hopefully you got enough left over at the end to fight him. I fought him twice. That close. That close to beating him. Oh. Woo. Don't wait until you get to the double. How tilted are you during the game? Because I would be... Not at all. You have to keep such a strong composure <laughs> to play that game. I couldn't do it. 
There's no I, way. I no felt way. it a little bit. Like when you just start kind of tilting off to the side, you're like, no, 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 no. If you fall in this game, you're not coming back. And see, that's what makes me mad. And it's not really that I'm mad about it because it's the it's up to the game makers on how they want to make the game. But it's such a gorgeous game. Like it's mm-hmm. so fuck cartoon. It's so cartoony it's a and beautiful game. Be- beautifully, beautifully done. And if I wanted to put something on easy mode. Then I would, so I can kind of just go through and play the fucking game and enjoy it for what it is. But they're like, no, you're just gonna, we're gonna take one little part of the fight out, and that's fucking it. That's all you yep. get. Um, so, and it kind of upsets me because there's no way I could play through it the way. Like, after watching some of the bosses you've gone through, I'm like, fuck that. There is no way. No way I'm getting uh, to do that. That game, that game is just on a different level. It, it's so reminiscent of old platformers where they are just extremely punishing if you mess up. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I, I compared it to, like, the, the Nintendo Day's Super Mario Brothers. You're on the last boss of the last level. You only have, like, two lives left, and you die both times, and you start all the way back at the beginning of the game. So at least this yeah. one, and uh, when you die, like, you just... Well, it reminds me more of Contra, because the, you're jumping and shooting yeah. and... Uh, having to, to dodge the the firing this. of the bosses and the enemies and uh, yeah, it, on, on that one if you get hit then you just you know you just die and you have to you respawn at the close at the same spot but you after you fight use, the like, boss again lives that's it mm-hmm. unless you put in the the Konami code and then you're cheap then you just play through it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, unfortunately for me, I would probably just stick with it for months and months until I beat it. Because I have this weird thing where I just get tunnel visioned on something and I don't let it beat me. I have to beat it. And one of these days we should do Battletoads Chicken and see if we can get past the third level. I have never gotten past the third level with a partner. How much perseverance do you have? Uh, Considering the fact that I grew up on those games, pretty good. All right, because I will sit here for hours and hours and hours and hours on end doing the same thing over and over again until I get it right. You guys have fun. That's That's right. I, I'd have to move on. Patience. I'd have to move on. There's yeah. no way. Human perseverance, it's a glorious thing. Uh, but other than that, I have played uh, of some hots with Snitty. He's getting better. A little rough around the edges, but we're working on it. Uh, and I've been grinding hard for World of Warcraft. There's a few achievements that I'm almost done that I've been working on since I started the game. Almost done. Almost. All I get is a couple of titles. But they will be worth it because every time somebody sees me with them, they're going to be like, oh my god, you have that title? And I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go ahead and look at that. Uh, yeah, sex title. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Definitely. Uh, but that's all I've been playing this week. I'm sorry. Awesome. Uh, I played some stuff. I have some stories. I finished. Um, I finished Uncharted yesterday, the first one. Yay! How was the the um, uh, the ski part? The, the jet ski part. <laughs> mm-hmm. The chicken have to beat it. Nope. nope. I didn't. I did have my to. fucking self. But um, she did rank. Uh, crank up the death crit, count. You lost me fifty dollars. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. I had a bunch. Yeah, the jet skis are not fun. That, that's such a dumb mechanic too. Such a dumb thing, because it's two people on a jet ski. If you've never played the first Uncharted, here's the deal. It's two people on a jet ski, Nate's driving, Elena's got a gun, and if you want to shoot, you can use Elena with the gun, but Nate completely stops driving. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, if these were two real people, they'd keep driving and shooting in tandem. I don't need you to stop so that I can shoot at something because now we're floating backwards. We're losing progress so that I can shoot the thing that's in front. I hate everything right now. Um, like I, I, the only thing I can figure out is part of that is just because of what when that game came out, yeah, what game you know, so. mechanics was there. So, but yeah, but I mean they they could have had like an auto drive feature or something that was <laughs> yeah, well. maybe that would have been too easy. Then you just put it on auto drive. And those and jet shoot. skis are like made out of rubber. You hit like <laughs> one wall and you're like ting 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 every fucking where. Ah! Mm-hmm. I just set that stupid stuff on fire. Anyway. I guess he's not very lucky on a jet ski then. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but mm. I finished, I got to a certain point in the game where I realized, because I've played this game once and it's been years, like a really long time. And I got to a certain point where I realized I had no idea what was going on. Like, I didn't, I couldn't remember what the rest of the plot line was supposed to be. I didn't know where anything was at. So I was legitimately replaying the game for the first time, essentially. Because I had no idea what the fuck was going on after we had a certain point. It's like, 
like, I don't remember any of this. I don't know what any of this stuff is. There are jump scares. It turns into Silent Hill for a minute. I don't know, man. It got crazy. That's like um, Reach for me because it had been so long since I've been, it'd been 2007, 2008. Whenever that game came out was the last time that I played it. Yeah. Reach came out in like. No, it was 2011. 2011. That was two th- yeah, because it and ODST were made at the same time. That's right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. uh, Halo 3 came out in 2000. Yeah, so it's been eight years, though. Eight years. Oh, 2010. Day after my birthday in 2010. Yeah. Well, um, but I, I finished it up, so those videos are going up. Um, and I'm going to start Uncharted 2 today, which I know I I told Paul that I would get the DLC for Far Cry 5, which I'm going to, but it's 30 bucks, and I just bought a bunch of like pet stuff for the dog and cats that we needed, so... I have to wait for a minute. Paul, I'm I not promise. not a kitty tower. I'm not going to forget it. I will not forget your Mars adventure um, for the Far Cry 5 DLC. I'm going to do that. I just have to recoup a little bit of money first. So um, I did those things. And then let me tell you all a story about how impatient I get in games. Oh, so, you? Boy, one oh, of these. Never, I can't never, wait. Never, yesterday. Yeah, I know, right? Um yesterday and here it comes hey newbie what's up we played borderlands the pre-sequel yesterday and uh he drives me nuts <laughs> newbie, i love you but man we are level four i don't care what the stats on my gun are um he spent we made it to concordia which is your uh hub area like sanctuary is in borderlands 2 and things like that and he spent like 30 minutes solid at the gambling machines in moxie's bar and he's like, hey, Griff, I got this shotgun that does this and this. What does yours do? I, hey, Griff, I got this other shotgun. So I'm, like, doing the quests around town while he's gambling to try to get us better guns. And it's like, he's like, what does your shotgun do? What's the rate of fire on? It's like, I'm level four. I'm going to get a shotgun in 20 minutes when we leave the city that's going to be better <laughs> than what I have right now that you just spent $700 billion on because you're gambling for it. Oh, my God, he's a min-maxer. Like, <laughs> min-maxers are fun people uh, sometimes. They're good and theorists. They are great theorists because they I offended can help him you. Because I called him a min maxer. I'm sorry, newbie. You're a min maxer. That's what it is. You are trying to <laughs> maximize your damage and maximize ev- all of your stats with minimum loss in it. And I get that it's a D&D term where you minimize one stat so that you can get the more out of another stat. But it's also a general gaming term. You are a min maxer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yes. He spent more time in his menu looking at weapons than he did playing the game. <laughs> it's just like it's a, a way that a lot of people play those games like any games that have stats on weapons or gear or anything like that it is a way that a lot of people play games and i'm not one of those people i'm like okay this gun has more points or more stats on it than my last gun i'm gonna equip it and go on with my life now that's kind of how like, I am. Like I, I would much rather do what you do, Griff. Which well, is Borderlands. You're this one, get new guns this one so kills often. more things. Got it. And go, or kills things faster. Yeah. And go. You know. So. Well, the the difference is that you could, you want to figure out what abilities kill things the absolute fastest, and then some people just want to pick abilities that suit them better. Like, like with my rogue, I pick my my abilities and talents the way I like to play but if I went and looked at like guides and whatnot I'm not I'm not anywhere near the most proficient efficient rotation based DPS that there is so no, play with that's how I spec my jack when my doppelgangers I, I buy or I put points and stuff that don't really matter like I will I told newbie too I was like I will put a point in inspire whenever it becomes available to me it is a wasted point it does literally no stat boosting at all all it is is whenever you do something great Jack says that you did something great and a little thing floats across your screen and if you die he kind of berates you a little I just like it it does absolutely nothing <laughs> but I almost spend a point on it <laughs> if I just Basically, because it's Jack. So, so that's mm-hmm. why. I mean, that's why. That's the only reason I play I mean, the preschool. I mean, I, I do the same thing with my hunter. Like, if you look at any of the the things, uh, most of them usually want you to go with the uh, the healing uh, thing being re- reduced. Like every twenty focus that you you spin, it right. reduces it by one second. And I'm just like, fuck it, I'm going camouflage. I want to sneak around. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, there's a certain balance that most people hit but then there are those hardcore raiders and whatnot and the very very the uh, specific people need to maximize every single thing i also think it's sometimes a little shitty because in world of warcraft people will put their entire rotation on a button 
and that is the absolute maximum way they could do things. They press a button, and it does, it like, does everything. does their entire cast list, yeah. Yeah, and then it's like, all right, if I push this button six times in four seconds, I could do this thousand, this many thousands of damage, and if I push this button second, I can, you know, it's like, okay, guys, chill out. It's all good. Play the game. Yes. But, yeah, that's... But. We spent more time with me running around doing the quests than, than uh, actually, ha like, us playing together yesterday, so... I just, I didn't know, I've never played a stat-based game with Newbie. I think, like, Left 4 Dead and Overwatch and stuff like that is our usual group play stuff, so I didn't really know what to expect. And he is very but particular. It, like, we're playing even something like Vermintide 2. It's so funny because the one person that holds us up the most if he's in the party is Newbie. Yep, he's always crafting something, looking at his numbers, or trying to figure out what's best for him in slot. Mm -hmm. Like, just so put something like, on right, and buddy. go kill things. We're here to kill, <laughs> not look at numbers. They must die. Gotta go get our murder on. Come on. No, I still find it funny that, like, even here. though he like he takes all this time to to go through and do all the the stat boost things, I'm still doing more damage than him. Oh, that's and I don't mean. care. I don't know. This one is worth more than the other one, and boom, and next. <laughs> I guess I guess it's an amount, like a measure of control thing, where you just want to make sure that you've got everything under control, and that's a way of doing it, but that's not my way of doing it. No. I play very fast and loose, especially in games like Borderlands, because I, I know how the mechanics work, and I know how my gun shoots. I'm good. I'm you just think that would have been tempered? Possible. You think that would have been <laughs> tempered by playing so many RPGs, but it has not. What me? Yeah, you like fixing your talents and building your no, builds. No, I mean I kind still of... I still look at the builds and whatnot to see what's proficient. I'm not saying I just waste every point I get on whatever frol frivolous thing. I'm just saying like there are some things that I that I don't care as much about, and I don't need to spend 20 minutes looking at my weapons in my backpack to figure out which one's gonna give me the best, absolute best DPS output with the best rate of fire and the best accuracy. And yeah, at like, uh, low levels it doesn't matter anyways because mm -hmm. you're no. placing the shit in like 10 minutes. Right? Yeah, yeah at well, max that's, levels that's where it comes into mid point, I don't think he even listened to me because he was gambling. Like at one point I was like, we have to leave the city. We've done all the quests here. I'm going to fast travel us. Okay, let me just pull the, the machine thing a couple more times. I was like, okay, I'm clicking the fast travel button. You have five seconds. And he did it again anyway and didn't get to pick up his loot when we left because it was, the, I was like, I told you, and it's got a countdown on your screen. Sorry, man. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was fun, though. It was fun. So. That's hilarious. All right, Baka, what have you played this week? I have been farming rep to get the Void Elves and the the, the Light Draenei people. Uh, the rep for the Light Forge to, Draenei? And yeah, World of Warcraft. The Exalted. Uh, I also went and spent the last couple of days farming Blood Cell on the mage. To, to be friendly with him because I wanted to I want my mage to be dressed like a pirate so I went to get the outfit and it turns out I can't even transpon the fucking thing so now I'm having to go through and farm fucking stockades in order to get the damn shirt that looks like the damn blood cell one that I've already got in my goddamn bag he's upsetty that uh -huh. he forgetty yep. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I've been doing that I've been playtesting uh, builds in World of Warcraft uh Trying out Survival Hunter with the the melee, which actually is it's a lot better than what it was during Legion. Um, uh, I've done PvP tests with the the Mage respects and Arcane and and Fire seem to be the ones I like to do because they hurt like hell. I have not tested the the Hunter yet on Survival and PvP mode though. It's probably gonna be a little tricky, being melee and PvP. Well, I'm trying to get the my fingers down with the, the rotation while I, I'm farming rep and stuff or void elves, so. Gotcha. We will have to playtest that later. Yeah, we will. In PvP. Well, I that, will. Uh, some Heroes of the Storm, uh, Overwatch for loot boxes, and you know, that's really been about it. I've been hopping between those, so yay, Blizzard Week! Yeah. It's coming up on a new expansion. Everyone kind of gets that... Blizzard High. <laughs> I've tried. I just have a bunch of other stuff Ooh, that I'm doing that game, man. Yes. Uh, but since we are talking about World of Warcraft, one of the articles that popped up, and I was excited that it finally happened, but uh, World of Warcraft and all the current expansions is now included in a subscription. 
Like, you pay $15 a month and you can play the game now. All the way to the current, like, you have to buy yes. the You'll current You'll have to buy the next expansion, like Battle for Azeroth. But if you buy, pay a subscription, you can play from zero to uh, cap level currently. Yep. That's interesting to me that, I mean, I guess it's good that they've done that because it does allow people like me that have never played the game to be able to go in and, and move that up. But Well, you could play a level 20 for free. Cindy's already playing the, up to level 20. Hmm, I'll see. No, I mean, <laughs> free is always the greatest word humans like to hear. Yeah, it's hey, just here's a free I'm million just dollars. Not sure how I'm going to feel about the game. I really don't. Well, like, I mean, I, you don't have to try it. I don't think yeah, it's going to, to be your it. cup of tea. I think he was just saying in general. I like. Yeah. I want to play vanilla when it, that comes out because it. I had so many friends that played the damn game at the base. At the base, and we would all be starting that together. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like that but, will be started all together. I told Snitty he's going to have to play. And this right here, this leads me to believe that if you play the World of Warcraft subscription, you'll get access to the retail version and to the classic version. All you have to do is have a live World of Warcraft subscription. Hmm. Maybe. See? See? Because it'll fit into there. You don't have to buy a second... You don't have to buy World of Warcraft Classic. All you gotta do is have a, subs, uh, a subscription account. And boom, you can play. How, how to get more nice. subs. Because then you've got how many ever subs they have now, and then the wave of subs that are gonna come in uh, during the Classic release. So, I mean, they're gonna get their numbers pumped way up. So, yeah. I think it's smart to do it now. It gets everybody kind of into that th groove where it's like, oh, yeah, it's just subscription-based. Classic comes out, oh, yeah, it's still just subscription-based. You can put up a subscription and you're good to play. Hmm. going to be a lot more enticing that way. I would think so. For sure. What we got going on? Some 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 new news there. Everybody went quiet, so I'm just making yeah, sure. I, mean, I I did a nice segue to that one. Come on, somebody else is going to be like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> We're sticking on Blizzard, I guess. Reaper Nerf Gun. Yeah, next yeah. year. I don't know. Yeah, does it year. say when? Does it just say 2019? No, nope, just 2019. At Ugh. some point. Basically, they're going to make... Nerf is making an actual version of Reaper's guns. His shotguns. Are they called Hellfire shotguns? Yeah, Hellfire shotguns. And, uh... I need it. How much money is Blizzard going to make off of those? How much do you think that thing is going to cost? Okay, first of all, does it come as a set of two? Is it going to be both More than them? likely. And if more so, I wonder what the set will cost. My guess is 50 bucks. Yeah, uh, probably, I probably 50 bucks. I guess more since it'd be a set of two. I don't oh, know. Yeah, I, I guess think... that's true. Maybe 60 bucks. Not for a Nerf gun. Really? I would think, I think uh, 50 have bucks you is... Have Nerf you been prices? in the Nerf section lately? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Uh, <laughs> Nerf's they, expensive. They have gotten yeah. considerably more expensive in, in years. Mm-hmm. So, well, maybe. It could be 75 to 100 maybe. Depends uh, on how big... Because they're, uh, well, I mean, are they? Said they're weighted too, so. Are they going to be as big as they look on with Reaper holding them? I think <laughs> so because I think they're, I think to they're making big. it specifically for cosplayers to prop mm -hmm. make with it. And I this is you. so clever on Blizzard's part because they're like, all right, we're going to go ahead and tap into the cosplay market because everybody likes to play Overwatch. Let's just go ahead and let Nerf have the rights to the guns and whatnot. We'll be getting Hanzo bow, a diva bow, or diva gun. Oh my god! Probably get a Mercy staff that like shoots little Mercy Nerf pellets at people. Uh, heal them. I, I imagine they probably do a Widowmaker sniper. They could be little mm -hmm. plus signs. Yeah, I don't know about Widowmaker <laughs> uh, sniper. Tracer's little handguns. Yes, Tracer's yeah. handgun. I can see that. Seventy uh, sixes uh, for sure. The yeah, Winston's rifle? gun maybe. Well, I'm trying to think of guns that can actually be used as nerf weapons. Seventy uh, sixes is absolutely going to be you a. Do, you could do Zarya's and, and make it fire like a giant nerf ball. That's true too. <laughs> like the Lucio potential would be the same. It would fire three. Just like hold Ooh. it and like boom. Lucio reminds me of. Um, I've, <laughs> I've seen a thing before that it was. It was basically like an air zuka, is what it's called. <laughs> That's what oh. his reminds me of. Is like this air zuka. You'd pull the trigger and it'd do a thing or whatever. But you could on those air zukas, you could actually uh, dip it in like a bubble thing, and then when you hit the button, it would go and pop a big bubble out. That's funny. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Uh, so, I mean, hell yeah. There's a lot of potential in there. They're trying to get in there and capitalize on every single mark. And it's crazy. They're capitalizing on every market they're creating. They're like, yeah, cosplayers, because of our game. So we're going to make you know this easier for you cosplayers while making us more money. 
Yeah, everybody wins. I mean, everybody wins. <laughs> There's just the fact that it's a Nerf gun that comes out next year, and I'm already like, take my money. Yeah, I think it's working. Yep, exactly. Yep. So, Blizzard knows how to market things for damn sure. And if I see one more Overwatch League commercial, I swear I'm going to like <laughs> climb through the screen and yell at the marketing person because I've seen so many of them watching Twitch. And well, it's I like mean, four it's in a, a row. It's four in a you row. Watching like, it, it'll just play you watching it? You watching? How about now? <sighs> <sighs> I think it's because they're getting ready for uh, the, the, the finals at BlizzCon. Uh, I guess that's so true. they are just fucking spamming it everywhere. It's like that annoying guy in trade chat screaming something over and over again. You're like, shut up. Stop. <laughs> I already know. But I'm looking for a group for this. Shut up. We already know. No one wants to go with you. You smell. <laughs> Rude. Uh, well, if you guys want to talk Overwatch for a minute, they're going to be nerfing and buffing some of the healers. Um, Brigitte is getting a nerf. Mercy's getting a nerf. Uh... Nana, ugh, Nana Boost. Uh, Grandma Candy, Nana Boost are the only two things that just came to mind. Anna's getting a uh, buff. <laughs> God. You could probably. That's what you get for not say, calling people by the right names. Uh, yeah, I, but I was about to say, you could probably just say Grandma Candy and have literally everybody who plays that game know exactly who you're talking about. Oh, you must be talking about Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandma Candy. Yeah. Um, they're going to. They want to make the cooldown longer on Brigitte's Shield Bash because that, that's a stun. And she can use it so often that she just gets in the middle of fights, stuns everybody, whacks them for a minute with her mace, stuns them all again. She's really dangerous with that. So they're oh, yeah. they're looking to. to and change I'm glad that they're up. reducing the the health of her barrier too. I've always I've I've felt like that thing had a little too much health. Like when she puts it up, it's hard to get through. She's supposed to be a support, not a Reinhardt. Well, that's what You're they, they want to push her, through. It. I think to be a hybrid tank healer. Like a tanky oh. healer, that uh, somebody that could soak damage and heal the team. So I get what they wanted to do with that barrier being as strong as it was, but giving her a barrier that strong and a stun on that short of a cooldown, yeah, you made her yeah. really dangerous to put in the middle of a group. Yep. So I, I mean, yeah, I feel like, I like it's, it's good. And stun and beat everyone to death. Yeah, I know. Uh, it happens to me all the friggin' time. How did this out of this Brigitte even get over here? Our entire team is now stunned and we don't know where she came from. Great. Go team. <laughs> and, it, and it's interesting, she has the highest win rate of any of the supports while healing for the least amount. That's it's because surprising. she doesn't heal, yeah. she only CCs. Yep. She and they're trying to change that because it's supposed to be like you're a support, not a not a not a DPS. Just to help people. Well, I mean, not, if they're gonna do that, they maybe they should buff her healing just a tiny bit more like when she hits yeah that or uh uh or fix her like little armor healing package thing because having that be your only kind of like save Actual button heal. is yeah. hard because you're like somebody's dying my heels on cooldown i can't do anything because i mean moira lucio mercy everybody else has like an extra style of healing Myra has her well, little Moira's hand can and her be ball. On, her, hers can both be on cooldown, too, at the same time. It just depends on how hard your team's getting pressured. Because she could have already sent out her healing ball and still be out of her hand her heal. Hand. Because you need to, to really regen that. You need the other team to be close enough to hook your beam onto them and do damage. But, I mean, if they're keeping your team on lock like that, you might not have had the chance. So Moira's got that dead space, too, every now and then. But she's getting more is getting a buff. She's getting a twenty percent booster healing regen, so that'll be nice. That'll cut down on the dead space for her. Nerf yeah. uh, Mercy's getting a little bit of a nerf. She's going from sixty uh, sixty to a second to fifty a second in her healing. Um, Lucio's getting a bigger AOE uh, area for his um, heals and stuff, heals and speed boost, which is nice. Which is nice. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's mm -hmm. kind of hard for Lucio too, but Lucio is so slippery sometimes that he doesn't necessarily need a bigger range he can get to his team pretty proficiently without yeah. dying uh depending on how good you are on wall riding and everything so i'm really good but there is nothing more satisfying in the world than hitting a slippery ass lucio with a mccree stun and that motherfucker just stands there going oh no and you're like yeah <laughs> pop pop see, pop i like pop, it pop. with the junk rat trap because they they don't see it they skate into the trap and then as soon as they do you see him start dancing because he hits his boost to try to heal himself from hitting the trap but you know you've got your other trap right there next to it so you just blow him up and laugh 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you little bastard, I caught you. I just like freezing him in place with May and just go, nope, pink. <laughs> or silence him and then he's just kind of running around going, hey, help. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it looks like all of the healers are getting, oh, Grandma Candy's boost. Finally, Grandma's Candy's nano boost, which is the ult, um, you can ult somebody and it will instantly give them 300 HP. It will replenish the target's health by 300 HP. So say you've got, like, a mid-health Genji that's in the perfect place to ult that whole team, and you know his ult is up, but he might die if he does it. Nano boost, get in there! You're powered up! Okay, everybody's dead. Good job, Genji, you're alive. Hey. Now imagine if you if they're on the other team when it's you, and you're like, Fuck! That's bullshit! <laughs> that's overpowered! It should be nerfed! Uh, no, I, I really feel like her nano boost should have done some healing always, but... It was just a nano boost until recently. I mean, she's a healer. So I just feel like when she pops you with stuff, it should probably do something for you. Definitely. Now, Torbjorn, don't stand in front of the Ana. You don't need the nano boost. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I need to go... It <laughs> needs to go to my Reinhardt that's in front of you. Stop that. Uh, the amount of times well, I've bear, boosted the wrong person. If you're trying to shoot a Reinhardt and the Torbjorn gets in the, the way to how short he is... You need to aim higher. Well, the there was one there was one time it was on Rialto. I was going to nano boost our uh, our tank. It was a Roadhog, and as fucking as soon as I hit it, Torbjorn had jumped off the balcony above us and landed in the path of the nano boost. I'm like, nano boost to Torbjorn again. <laughs> this was such a random lucky win for that Torbjorn. Anyway. <laughs> What else? I'm glad that the healers get buffs. Not in Mercy. Mercy's getting a nerf. Sorry, Mercy mains. I know it sucks well, to be I mean, you. Everyone uses a Mercy, so. Mm -hmm. Still sucks to be her. Alright. She'll be fine. What else we you want to talk talked about Uncharted earlier. Yeah, because I'm so, playing uh, it. Nathan Pillion uh, did a, a little short film where he's playing Nathan Drake. Which it is was fucking really amazing. Good. By it's the really way, good. That, 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 he's destined to play. He's the one. Well, uh, I know he's been pushing for that part for years, and they keep giving it to other people for the the movie that's supposed. To be I think it's works. his age, though. I 100% feel like it is Nathan Fillion's age that is preventing mm -hmm. directors from wanting to give him that role. Take because, ten years back, and yeah. it, you wouldn't have a choice yeah. but to pick him. But I mean, watching it, I can kind of see he's a little aged. But I kind of feel like if they make it after the games, he's perfect for it. Yeah, because by kinda the time does... you get to the end of the this. You know, Uncharted 4, he's kind of out of the game for a reason. Yeah. One last thing that he has to take care of. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There's always that one last thing. <clears throat> the problem is, is when you're doing a movie, it's never the last thing. So yeah. it's like they'll find a new thing for him to, to follow on there. Yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, uh, I think it's from that, it's... But yeah, there's always something. Yeah, I it's... feel like with the movies, they want to start earlier, though. So. Yeah, and I can see him. I can see him doing that. I, I, but I really kind of want to see this. I really want to see a full movie with Nathan Fillion as this. I would He's, like to see it, but I really feel like if they're gonna make a movie with Uncharted, you're gonna start back at the first Uncharted or even previous to that, so that you can have the whole setup. Because if you tried to start, you know, at the end where Nathan is older and happily married and has a kid and things like that, like. You feel like people watching the movie feel like they've missed so much because, you know, you can't you can't assume that the movie cr people viewers are going to have played the games. Well, it's like the new Tomb Raider movie is is pretty much based on the the reboot game. Um, so uh, it did. They did change the plot line a good bit. Um, but for the most part, it's based on that same game. So. So, yeah, it, I don't disagree with that. I can see that. And I don't understand why we can't start, or, you know, start later. I'm fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's because you know the history of the character in the series. Yeah. So. It's true. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, I still started the first Uncharted, him just be older. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean look at Indiana point, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. But uh, the thing I, is, is that they came out with this, and now everybody who's watched it has this, 
is biased now to Nathan Fillion being mm-hmm. Nathan Drake. So no matter who they get next, they're going to be like, yeah, he's okay, but he's not as good as Nathan Fillion. Everyone's going to hold that. Like, even if they don't want to, they're going to kind of hold it a little bit going, yeah, it could have been well, better. What I think they did really well in this little short that they have is they, the humor is still there. The, 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 the little quips back and forth, um, the little smart ass comments that you get, even when you're playing the game normally, you'll have just shit that's going on. All that's there in this. And it's like, it feels like Uncharted should. If Hollywood does Uncharted, it's not going to feel this way. If, nope. unless somebody like, it, like, make they're, they're, they're make the feeling up producer or something. They're, they're going to get numbers and be like, well, according to our numbers, this is the formula you should follow. And then you're going to have something, another crappy video game movie. Yeah, but at least this shows potential that somebody knows how to do it right. Mm-hmm. Somebody out there knows how to do it right. Well, and it might give the director for this the opportunity to be able to do it. And then Nathan at least work on it if he can't actually, you know. He can be in it. Don't, don't, don't hurt me. He can be in it. <laughs> you can star in it. So, it's it's good though. I mean. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. If, if Disney and shit can go through and then like de-age someone. Uh, with the movies, they can fucking do it with this if they're going to bitch about the, the age thing. There you go. There you go. Figure out a way to mask that over. It's fun. I mean, they did it with Kurt Russell. They did it with, uh, well, uh, they brought in uh, uh, the Carrie Fisher and, and Grand Moff Tarkin in, in Rogue One. Uh, yeah. With the digital it effects. Looked- and uh, Sometimes it looked a little bit weird, but, I mean, some of the scenes, it actually looked really good. Mm-hmm. Well, they they uh, any one of the X Men movie they show uh, Patrick Stewart and um, Ian t- together like they come in and it's like it's a flashback and they look young compared to the way they normally do. They they did that and that was ten years ago when they did that in a damn movie. So it's like they could do it then. Come on, they can do it again. Yeah, exactly. Right. Miracles of Cinema. That's right. That's you're right. Fifty years old, awesome. You're gonna look twenty in this. <laughs> Since we're already talking about Nathan Fillion as is, uh, of course he is one of the voices of one of the main characters from uh, Destiny's actual plotline that he has in Destiny Two. Um, oh, they have the plotline. I know, right? They have a plotline. Today then. I learned. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he is unable, supposedly unable to to be able to do the voiceover work that needs to be done for the newest edition, um, and it's. Uh, to me, it's kind of a spoiler saying this is this character's last time to be on there. Okay, well, we can kind of guess what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, but Nolan North is coming in yet again for the rescue. Um, I, I just every it, it's going to be Destiny <laughs> Nolan North edition where everything is voiced by Nolan North. He's going to be talking to uh, himself. Well, it sound the same. <laughs> it won't start that way on? though. Like there'll be a cast, and then those cast members will slowly drop out, and Nolan North will just replace all of them. Yeah. Why, why? I swear this guy sounds like that other guy over there. <laughs> what the hell? This is super uh, weird. It would it would be kind of funny to create a game that's just like different characters, and Nolan North has to do every one of the fucking <laughs> character voices. Like like we'd even have him do his best, you know, female impersonation, and then <laughs> and then like maybe pitch it a little bit if we need to, you know, <laughs> to, to put it in for the game. <laughs> Uh, come up. I kind of want him to read me a book, you know, just do the different voices in in a book. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. Uh, that'd be yeah, good. You can probably do it. Well, I think it's interesting that they just swap places. Like, okay, you want to be Nathan Drake? Then I'll go be this guy. Yes. Right. Fine. You take him. I'll take the other one then. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why Nathan Fillion couldn't come to do it because he was recording that. Well, he just said unavailable, so maybe you're letting out the secret. But to be to be fair, when Nolan North replaced uh, Peter, Peter Dink- Dinklage, Dink- Dink- yeah, Dink- Dinklage. Dink- uh, when he when he uh, replaced him, they said the same thing about Peter's schedule. Well, but we knew what he was doing. He was Game yeah. of Thrones yeah, no in shit. it up, man. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Kidding. So they said the same thing about that, but I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be uh, be interesting. So what else we got? Nolan is pretty freaking amazing. Just saying. A new Famicom cartridge has been uh, will will be released in 2018. It is 2018. It's September. This year. Sorry, September. I was just reading the headline. (laughs) Released this year. Yeah, it's interesting to me that there that somebody's releasing a Famicom cartridge. Do you think it's going to be a trend? Get 
that. Like, um. Well, I mean, they've they've gone. Some people have gone back and released um. Uh, cartridge-based games for like the, the Nintendo and uh, <clears throat> Super Nintendo and things like that. So. Yeah, it could be. I mean, yeah, people are always wanting to to play. Uh, the the old school stuff, especially here lately. It's it's been here in the past few years. It's getting trendy again. Well, yeah. It's getting trendy to play the Nintendo. <laughs> uh, Nintendo is doing it. Made it a pain it. in the ass for me to collect my shit because everyone <laughs> now wants an arm and a leg for it. Mm-hmm. Just give it about another twenty years. It'll go back to being worth nothing. Then the Xbox stuff will be trendy and hipster stuff. <laughs> Man, you remember that old Xbox console thing that they used to play? All this gaming things Grandma are gonna be like. When he was a little kid, so 360. Wait. <laughs> what do they call it? A 360. Oh God! Don't start it now. <laughs> because when you looked at it, you turned 360 degrees and walked away. Ah! Oh, 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 you people oh. don't understand math. Ah. No, because <laughs> if you do 360, you're just looking at the fucking console still. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I always thought that joke was so fucking stupid. Yeah. It's like you, you don't understand what 360 degrees is, do you? No, the, hearing that really fucking made me understand what was wrong with people. <laughs> oh my god! And, and and to be fair, I heard it a lot from PS4 players. Oh, Xbox 360 sucks ass. PlayStation Three, maybe. Yeah, yeah PS3. Whatever, Play, PlayStation folks. They were always trying to badmouth each other, and it's like, wow, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna go back yeah, and play my game. Yeah, there games. was a lot of like really bad bad mouthing on on both ends. Spectrum of that, but. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, it and, wasn't and, even and on both ends. Just like, what the fuck is That's not does? true. The first place I ever saw the whole three three Xbox 360 thing was in Trade Chat in World of Warcraft. <laughs> like, why do you even care? We're playing a PC game that you can't get on any consoles. What is <laughs> it? That's not how math works, and what does it even matter? That's not, you just do a circle and then you walk into the console. I mean, I'm, what are we trying to get at here? You're gonna want, do it to be sixty and push it off the table? Yes. I I that just I made me think of the Baron chat and Chuck Norris again. I, it makes me want to spin around because I'm happy and dance. I don't know. That's what I do. Three sixty. I mean, jeez. Do a three sixty. Good job. Good job, everybody that ever used that ever. Now that you're older and we're like 10 years down the line, I hope you regret things that you said. <laughs> specifically that thing. Not everything in your life had to be full of regret, but specifically that. I hope you feel bad about it. I hope you wake up at 3 a.m. every once in a while thinking about how dumb you sounded. Too <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. Too funny. Uh, uh, an article that popped out at me. Uh, earlier this week, I think it was earlier. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I saw it said Spec Ops Lines developer announces competitive quester mm -hmm. game, The Cycle. Oh, uh, I think that's okay, so first of all, weird. Spec Ops The Line, a fantastic fucking game. It is a necessity to play for everybody who is considered, you know, who plays games. It's a necessity to play. Plays it's incredible. Games? Why did you hear mm -hmm. quote that? It's because of the decisions you have to make in the game, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't don't ever read anything about it. And a lot of the reviews say the same thing too. Just play it. It's it's incredible. It's nothing to write home about uh, mechanics wise, but the story is one of the most solid stories written in games. It's incredible. Really worth it. Uh, but so I was like, all right, cool. So they're coming out with something different. And now it's a competitive quester. I was like, okay, that's interesting. It, it's designed for 20 players to compete with each other on a map, but there are monsters and there are other players that are going to stop you from doing your quest. So what they said, it's a competitive quester, a PvEVP shooter. And everybody knows what that means when I hear that. PvEVP. It's my favorite kind of style. So I instantly signed up for the alpha. So if I get in and I'm allowed to talk about it, I will. I feel like a lot of it's going to be a battle royale until there's one person left who's then going to go do their own quest. Good mm. luck. I mean, if you try to be aggressive like that, so why don't the other people just kill you? But that's what I'm saying. Like, there's going to be probably, the, the main thing is like, okay, kill all of the people and then I can do my quest. So that you're going to have everybody try to kill each other first, and then whoever oh, that's fine. my standing. I, I've played Rogue enough in many games that I'll just kind of stay off on the side, do my quest, and win. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what's that? What, how are they going to Then all you're doing is fighting playing? against that. Well, and it, it would be interesting to see how the environment ad adapts exactly. to. Exactly. Because it could be one of those where, okay, yes, you're 
this seems to be a hot spot. This is where everybody seems to be battling. Now the environment changes to where it's now attacking the area where there's a hot spot because it can it knows what's going on, right? Exactly. So I want to. I want to see how this, because it's an interesting concept. I love interesting concepts and companies that are willing to kind of do a little something different. Mm -hmm. So I signed up, and as soon as I get a chance to play it, I will let everybody know. know. If I'm allowed to, you know, NDA and all of that. It's interesting to me because the the video reminds me a lot of, um, oh, what's the PS game? The Zero Dawn one. Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, like some of the stuff in the background and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking that too. It kind of looks like that kind of style. Like when I first saw it, I was like, is this an expansion? Like, is this, <laughs> you know? And then it was like, it's going to be released on PC first. And I was like, okay, no, it's not, it's not an expansion. But all right, cool. So looks looks good. Looks good. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how that, that works out for sure. For sure, and uh, if they have a kind of the same kind of mechanics that they have in Darwin, it will stop people from just spawning in and running after people because you'll have to equip yourself with things before you have a better chance to fight other people. Because in Darwin Project, if you run after someone right as soon as you spawn in, you're gonna die because you have nothing. Like you got like your bow and some arrows, and that's it. You got to build armor and build more arrows and traps and abilities and things like that so that you can actually stand a chance. Mm-hmm. So. So, I'm, I'm interested to see what they got. The company deserves my uh, deserves a chance at least from me. Uh, PUBG this week uh, pulled one of their controversial Japanese mask designs um, and Which apologized. They have. Yeah, it's it's very interesting to me that a Korean company created a mask. The Rising Sun. Yeah, the Rising Sun mask, which is offensive to those people in Korea and China. Because of what happened during World War II, it's odd to me that a Korean that a Korean com- based company is the one that created that. But. I almost feel like it's just to put their name in the news because they knew it would be a controversy that it would be covered. Uh, yes, maybe. and maybe, but that second point was something that you probably should never even try to. Uh, put yourself in the news with and the thing I'm talking about is reference to the unit 731 was found in the games code Mm -hmm. and it was applied to AI bots Mm -hmm. unit 731 is uh, uh, is associated with German Nazi army it's a uh, real life Japanese army division which conducted horrific lethal human experimentation on prisoners of war Mm -hmm. that is a no no do not not use things like that in your game because that is one way just to kill it even faster. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to do it, it's it's got to be the way that they do Wolfenstein, which is if you're going to reference 731, it's got to be kill them. You're, yeah, yeah just kill the them guys. all. Yes, absolutely. Don't don't just use it, you know, frivolously. Yeah. I mean, the Rising Sun, people could be like, oh, wow, you're being insensitive and things like this. Oh, you're in the news. But that one is like, wow. And Somebody to, in your office is a shithead. And to be fair, if you if you took the whole Rising Sun part off the side over there, it's actually kind of a cool mask. Yeah. Like, if you just put the white across the front and all that type of stuff, it's kind of a cool-looking mask. But I don't, I, I don't understand why they did that. And the 731 thing just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Evidently, it's the same person, so... You know, somebody somebody's gonna get fired. Yeah, somebody definitely is. Then they deserve it. I mean, yeah, definitely. They de- don't be a shitbag. You know, just don't. Don't reference things like that. Yeah, it's just unless you're degrading them. You're like that was a terrible part in human history, and that is awful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you That's had to good. Kill the entire unit. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valve. Uh, we kind of talked about. Um, earlier in the month that they were starting to, to do more on banning and things like that. Um, <laughs> they have, in the last week, banned 95,000 cheaters. 95,000. That's a lot of people. A lot That's of a accounts. a lot of people. 95,000. Yeah. And it doesn't but, say, like, from what it, they were banned from or things like that, so it must be... It does say. It does. says they were uh, across one or more of the games as it monitors Ark, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, Call of Duty games, Counter-Strike games, Dota 2, and Team Fortress It 2. says Valve hasn't elaborated, but it's likely. 
Oh, whatever. But it's I've, the games that they monitor. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's probably is, but I mean, I kind of wonder if it's like, did we just discover some new cheat software that, that we didn't know about before, or is this something that a, a people in mass had just tried out, and as soon as they everybody got their hands on it, they all got banned instantly, or <laughs> oh. like well, I kind of wonder an, what's going on. That would be unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, it feels like uh, things like this is Valve kind of sending in the spies, finding out the network of cheating, cheaters and whatnot, because they usually will talk to one another. You know, oh, this is how you get this, and this is how you get that. And then from there, they'll kind of follow the path and then lead them to the hive. And then they're like, all right, all of you people that have this code in your game, banned Ow. instantly, <laughs> all together. Boom. So they just... One giant swift kick to the butt, boot out 60,000 people at one time. So it's kind of like Valve just knows how to search for these people, but don't ban them every, like every time they find one, they don't ban them. They kind of use them to lead them back to the the bigger fish. Hmm. And then when they find the bigger fish, they get all of them at one time. Well, there you go. Uh, Bye, so cheaters. The, the moral of the day story is don't fucking cheat. I yeah. don't know why that's so fucking hard. Mm -hmm. Like, I still don't understand. I mean, I... It's I guess... because some people cannot put forth the time and effort to actually attempt to be good at a game, so they just want to find the quick and easy way to be good at it, which means cheating. I mean, I'm sorry if you're that garbage at something. If you play it for a little while, you'll get better. But if you cheat, you're never going to be any good garbage. Well, uh, uh, when, it, when it comes to, like, single-player games, I've used cheat codes in, in a lot of the games. But it's mainly because it's like, I've beaten this game aboard. I just want to go have some fun. Right. But, yeah, uh, online games, no, don't cheat. Uh, unless you're doing things like, uh, back when I used to play uh, Tribes online, we would do um, uh, things, but it applied to everyone, like uh, the Jump Higher, the Infinite uh, Rocket Pack, uh, but everyone had access to them, no, and no one was invincible. And it was just fun servers. And, yeah, those, and those are just like, mods. Yeah, yeah uh, I think server-wide mods are different some than Some people cheating. can still consider it cheating because, I, I don't know, but... Uh, I mean, to put everybody just, on the same square. Yeah, if everybody has access yeah. to the same thing, it's not really cheating. If, yeah, especially it's if it's known that the server is modded before you go into it. Yeah, and we would advertise it basically, and it would be like, okay, you come in here, it's going to have crazy shit going on. So. Yep, it's like the Left 4 Dead Steam servers and whatnot. Those things are modded to hell and back, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's not cheating because everyone's on the same. The ten v tens, you mean? Woohoo! Those are fun. <laughs> Me and Snitty played that, by the way, and we were on opposite teams. <laughs> That's that funny. was a that was something else. Oh, Too what else funny. you guys got? Because I mean, aliens is pissing me off. Again, only aliens, <laughs> colonial marines. Yeah, all all the bad AI was all because of some fucking like mistypo in the coding. Yeah, one typo, one typo. Yep, that was paint copied and pasted over it's, and over. It's they misspelled over. tether. That's they what added it was. an A. Yeah. They a tether added an a. instead of tether. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's. I mean, that uh, and even still, the, the, the story and everything wasn't, like, all that great. And I know, like, some parts of the story kind of piss people off as far as the lore goes, but the, the game still could have been so much more entertaining and fun if it wasn't for, like, this stupid fucking AI. Like,. Stand there and dance on a box, stupid AI. <laughs> There's the Jeff in the article is just the, <laughs> yeah, the alien the walking. walking. That, that's he the legendary right one. Yeah. I mean, and, and Chicken played the game with me. And yeah, that, that and thing th was yeah, rough. Th that's basically kind of what happened through like uh, most of the game. It's just like, oh, it's just like shooting fish in a barrel because the AI is so fucking stupid. Yeah, and uh, to go into it, the way it's supposed to work uh, is when a, an AI spawns and there's no enemy in it, the tether is supposed to put them into a place and where they can attack you better. But because the tether was wrote wrong, they just basically would wander from one space to the next. And then if there's no one there, they would just kind of wander back because there was no tether to attach them to a room. They would just kind of like, oh... <laughs> How you doing? And then just wander away. So they, they were they were not programmed properly because of an A. Oh man. Yeah, I may have to buy this game on Steam for like three bucks and then try out this fix that the person did and see if the game is actually even better to go through. 
They should be. I mean, theoretically, it should be a different experience than you had before. Yeah, it should be. Uh-huh. I mean, because because I've seen the video. There's 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 another article somewhere that I've seen that it shows the before and after in the same room, mm-hmm. and like. I don't want to deal with the aliens after that he's been removed because it's like they're they can pinpoint and find you real quick and head right to you so it's creepy right so it's like yeah. versus just you know the little walking around guy that we're looking at now so oh well the, the little walking around dude was uh, uh, the, the issue with them is they're supposed to be blind uh, so like mm. uh, and they, they only pick up on noise and uh, they're separate from the rest of the aliens because of the fact that they, they've been like basically running around in this toxic waste. So mm-hmm. uh, they're they're dangerous because I think they explode if I remember right. Uh, so the rest yeah, of the I doesn't want did. them around. <laughs> but uh, I mean, even still, like uh, you're it's supposed to be like super stealthy through that part, and you just kind of just like, oh look, there's an alien. Just stand still for a second, and he'll just walk right past you. Well, they never changed the price on it. Well, okay. It's still what? it's still 30 bucks for the collection. I was just looking at it. Okay, yeah, then. I, I'm going to like a, like a, a sale. Okay, then. All right, Is get it back. A, it up for like three bucks. Yeah, wait, wait for that to hit Steam sale. Don't spend the 30 bucks on that thing. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm not spending. Like, no, no. I, I actually spent more than that because I bought the, the collector's edition because I wanted the, the statue with the alien and the loader. I still have that, but... <laughs> God damn it. Too funny. Uh, it's not worth the money. Uh, in, in an article that I, I'm interested in is the microtransactions have been completely removed from Shadow of War. Completely. The game is microtransaction free now. Uh Yay. Now, I bought a few of them, not with real money, but I bought a few of them because, and I haven't used any of the orcs that I've got out of there still in the barracks. I only use whatever I get in game. But I got them because I needed a specific set of orders that make it so that you can take an orc and put it into your barracks and then go to a different region and put him into that region. Because there was one specific orc that I liked as my bodyguard. I kept him around. I've moved him three times now. Now, without the without the loot boxes I don't know if you're going to be able to carry around your orcs anymore which makes me very sad uh, because I want right. to be able well, to carry my orcs your boxes and just stuff them in it <laughs> get back in there let's go to the next area so I it says that they've changed they've made significant alterations to the Shadow of War game because there's no more loot boxes which there shouldn't have been to begin with you should have mm-hmm. just had the game like that and not needed mm-hmm. them uh, but uh but yeah, the game is no longer microtransaction based, so everybody you are free to buy it now. Show them that without microtransactions, they sold more than when they did have microtransactions. So yeah. next time. Well, and it's just it, in this case, it's going to be a matter of who hasn't bought it yet. Like I don't, I don't own the game, so I'll buy it now. That and I said that from the bucks? beginning when they drop it, get it. You know, twenty bucks definitely. So it's worth it. So I'll buy the game and and support them because they. They did the right thing. They pulled them out. You know, mm-hmm. I, I wish that you know EA hadn't been a shit bag because I and, and they would drop the damn price of uh, Battlefront two to twenty bucks, and I'd be fine with that. <laughs> but they they're gonna have to drop theirs to twenty bucks before I'd even think about it. Yeah, because all I want is the campaign anyway. That's all I want anyway on that one. But you know, it is what it, it is. It is what it is. Uh, big announcement for us. Um, of course, is the new Curse Cells gets its release date July thirty first, um, which is still July. It's still July, chicken. It's still July. Okay, I the, can't. Man, that that shit just. It's still July. <sighs> oh, don't worry. You'll get your cake by the end of the day. Oh, it's eleven fifty nine. Here's your cake. But you still got the cake. They didn't lie to us. It's there, buddy. Okay, July yeah, I know. The cake is I not still, a lie. And then no, such I still feel like BS. <laughs> the the cake is not a lie. Um, the, uh, and then the next one's supposed to be out in September. So it might be September 30th, but <laughs> it's going to be September. <laughs> It'll be September 30th for sure. Calling it now. Quote me on uh, 7-22-2018. <laughs> September 30th will be the release for the last day. Uh, if you haven't seen the teaser video for it yet, it's pretty cool. It's it's showing the, the skeletons getting ready to go out to sea. 
and it looks like the ships are going to come out from the from the bottom of the water and come back up. Um, mm-hmm. They come up out of the water and then plop down, uh, which ah. is going to be pretty awesome. Very, very Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Davy Jones style of ship, basically. Um, should be pretty neat for them to to come out and do that type of shit. Um, it's it's pretty awesome though. I'm excited about it. I really am. I'm I'm I've gotten really far on the the cursed statue things. I'm gonna go through and do those, and um, so I'm enjoying enjoying what's going on currently. Uh, one the outposts. Uh, it looks like they're going to be able to take down outposts until you uh, fight and take them back, which is super interesting. Creates a PVE aspect to the game. Uh, two the brigantine is coming out with it too. So a three person boat. Cool. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing that I am worried about that I don't like is the new alliance system that they are coming out with. Uh, The update will bring a new alliance system, which Rare says encourages the formation of fleets united under a single cause ready to tackle greater challenges and share the rewards. That is a little scary because that is going to make it so that big groups can kind of team up together and just wipe out the... uh, wipe out everybody else and i know they could do it now but there's no system to like reinforce that style uh i don't disagree i but i also you've already got a there's already people that go on to other people's ships and say hey can i join your crew da 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 da, you're logging out and then they end up taking over host server anyway Mm -hmm. um so i mean because we figured out a way around this essentially i think the difference is is now they'll end up being green and can't shoot each other Right? Yeah, I think they need to like they need to go the other way with that and kind of figure out how to stop. Well, uh, I guess it's a sandbox that they're making, but I mean, and there's going to be griefing in a game like this anyway. So they're trying their hardest, but I don't know. I, I have to. Always gonna be, someone's always going to find a way to grief. Yeah, I need mm-hmm. to see like exactly how the alliance system works before I put my full opinion into it. But the way it sounds, it's going to be very. It could be catastrophic. No, go away. Not you, cat. Too many. Check it's like, all right, uh, I'm done here. Go away, everybody. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see how it works for sure, because it, it the way they use the, they don't incentivize grouping up enough. They they almost force people to group up. Now, do you need one crew or two crews to do the underwater things? Oh, uh, you can just one person can do one it. One crew, okay. Well, yeah. I thought you said that you need four for the red ones. Uh, no, it's just faster with four. You can do it with two people. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah. See, that's better than what it was like in the uh, in the the chairs and whatnot because it kind of forced you. If you wanted to finish it all, it forced you instead of incentivizing you to do it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah, you can get more if you do it with more people, or you can do it by yourself. Well, so. the thing with the the thing with the chairs. What they should have done is if you got if you got the double chairs, and there was a lot more double chairs than there were single chairs, which I had a problem with, um, because somebody like me, I I would have liked to have gone out and I think there were eight thrones that were or six double thrones chairs. that were singles, and everything else was doubles, and and it had to be from another crew, which I thought is kind of like, eh. but if you're gonna do that, give a whole lot more doubloons for those, a whole lot, incentivize, like, yeah, incentivize a whole it. lot more doubloons. Um, yep. Than they were, but I think they were worth the same. So it didn't make sense, a whole lot of sense to do that, um, unless other than the other than the um, accommodations that you got accordingly. Um, so I'll be interested to see how they change that. But um, I don't have a problem with I don't have a problem with the them teaming up and doing that because people are kind of already doing it. I, I but I don't disagree about the griefing either. How do you control that? Um, and are are they doing it specifically for that? Yeah, um, I mean, because I mean, they, I was chased one night. We were chased one night because of people purposely taking over two ships and and going through yeah, and briefing. chasing each other. If they make it so that both of the ships are green to one another, then that's dangerous because then they can't hurt each other in crossfire. Mm-hmm. If they at least make it so that they are still you know aggroable or hittable to each other, then that's fine because you know you can if you're a sloop you can kind of go through them and make them shoot each other or miss you and things like that well they could do that they'd be able to do that anyway because if i'm on if i'm on a boat that's not our boat and i accidentally shoot our boat it'd still sink our boat you know what i mean (laughs) so the boats the boat it's just more of the individuals per one person shooting the other one from 
again standpoint, right? So yeah, um, is where that kind of applies. But I'm I'm interested to see how this end up going, and I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be cool to just fucking have that come up out of the the water. Yeah, um, taking over. I mean, the things. megalodon is crazy now. Like when you when you're just sailing along, and all of a sudden you see a sloop. And it's hauling ass, and you're like, "What's the deal?" And you look behind it; there's this giant fin, and it's being chased by a megalodon. Or you'll have, um, you know, you're you're going you're going to one island to the next, and you look behind you. You're talking to your friends, and all of a sudden, you just see the megalodon fly straight up out of the water, and then turn and dive right back down. And it's like it's great. It's just such a living environment. That's just going to add one more thing to it. Um, so I'm interested to see what it is and and how the lore and stuff goes along with it i like the i like the village rat stuff that they're doing right now because it makes you explore the world um where a lot of people weren't before i think they were kind of just you know either out there to fight people or out there to do a couple of um build their treasure stuff up so and it gives them right. it gives you more stuff to do than just that right which is why you had so many pirate legends at the beginning because mm-hmm, there wasn't enough yeah. to do Everybody just had one directive. Get mm-hmm. Pirate Legend, that's it. Yeah. So So now you got more stuff to do that you can mm-hmm. build up and so uh and then you get gear for it. So you go in, you get your doubloon, you go back to Duke, uh you talk to Duke, when you talk to him, you get you can build up your character, that's an option. Um you can use doubloons to do that, or you can um uh buy gear that nobody else has unless they're doing what you're doing. So which to me that gear's ugly. I don't like that gear. So I'd much rather uh, just use to, to build my character. Quote me now, that stuff will come back. Those, mm-hmm. those pieces of gear will come back. We, they're gonna cycle through these uh, these Their weekly events. or biweekly events mm-hmm. for sure. So if you miss something now, you can come back in later. But keeping it limited to an event is nice because then you have to play during the event if you want it. Mm-hmm. So. Oh yeah, so. for sure. For sure. What else we Because we... I got some Uncharted on the way. And I got some BGs, Battlegrounds, that I have to play. Yep. <laughs> I got stuff to do. Uh, so, that everything? We good? Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, that'll work. I don't think there's anything else that was really right. worth it other than uh, they, they finally got a... Yeah, we finally got a release date for Call of Cthulhu, which we're kind of yes. excited about. Um, October thirtieth. I didn't. I realized there was issues with it, but I didn't realize that Frogwares, which was the original one that was t- it had had it, had lost it. I didn't realize that. So that's good information to have. Um, there's been some issues. That's the reason it's taken so long. So production issues. Production issues. So. Yeah, like usual. <laughs> anyway, uh, as always, you can check us out. Well, thank you for visiting us here at <laughs> at Ivan Respawn. As always, you can check us out on Twitter at Ivan Res PC. You can check me out personally at MBO Tree. You can check out Griff. At Griff Slinem. Check out Chicken. At Elite Chicken 313. Check out Baka. Yeah, Baka Pickle. Uh, also, make sure that you go to Griff's YouTube. Currently playing through Uncharted, the first Uncharted. I got to watch the first two. They're awesome. Please Please watch them. It's like forty minutes of fantastic dying and fun <laughs> and laughing. Wait till you I, get to the jet skis. Yeah, and then to get to the jet skis, it's 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 hilarious because she's finally playing something that I can go through and watch. Um, and so I'm really excited about because like you did Detroit. Like everything I do is awful. Yeah, you did Detroit. No, you Far, did Cry, Far Cry Five, five and Detroit. I can't I can't watch those because I haven't played. Well, I pl- I can watch Detroit, Detroit now. Yeah, yeah. Watch it now. now I can go through and watch it. Yeah. But when you release them, I couldn't. Um, so go through and watch those, because Uncharted is... I've played through those games a few times, and I absolutely love those games. And to watch her play them is fantastic, because it's been so long. My favorite, my favorite, the first one, though, when she turns around and she goes, she goes, I think I just need a... Ju- I think there's water down there. I could probably just go down to the water. And then, boom, dead. <laughs> that was like... Awesome. I was and trying she, to look in what was just a hole in the ground to see what was down below me in one of the videos and fell in. I was like, I wasn't even okay. Fine, done looking at things. Oh, <laughs> uh, she dies uh, right off the bat on the boat. The death counter grip, so no, I did not. That is your job. If you want to know how many times I died, okay. you count. In the first one, I want to say in the first one it's eight times, but well, you need I'm to watch a, it yourself. I'm at some point go through and, and watch all of them 
Yeah, and first one's like, have a, a pen and a piece of paper and just make a mark every time she dies. Well, and, and it, it, figure it out, and then that way we, when she's done with the entire series, we can do okay. There are now this many alternate universes of. <laughs> uh, well, one of, it, it, to be fair, one of the times she dies, majority of her time dying in the very first, ep- very first one, is. It's when the angle of the camera changes and oh. she's looking directly at him and he's, she's having to run toward herself, basically, and turn. That's hard to do because you're having to figure out how that is and, and get the it. angles right. Anything could do it. <laughs> so she was, she's doing that and then it's great because all this stuff falls down and then Sully just runs up right over the top of everything that you just did, had to dodge. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Give it's me like, a okay. word I can save Griff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boom. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, there we Got it. <laughs> also, make sure that you go to twitch.tv forward slash elite chicken 313. Go on there, follow him every day of the week except Friday and Saturday. Uh, he tries to stream, usually starts at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, time um, when he depends on when he's working, how he gets off, all that good stuff. Um, but usually tries around 8 p.m. Eastern. And, of course, I'm on Mixer.com forward slash uh, MDB Oak Tree. You can go on there and watch me as well. Sometimes we're playing games together. Sometimes we're not. So it's just kind of a matter of what you want to play, what you want to watch. But every Tuesday, we're definitely playing games together because that's community night for IRPC where we do crazy shit with Killing Floor 2, <laughs> Deceit, whatever it is. If we want to lie to our friends that night, we do this. If we want to help protect our friends or just die a lot, that's Killing Floor 2. Uh, you know, however that happens to be. Um, and by the way, Killing Floor 2 takes over my PC. It was still registering that I was logged in three days afterwards. Well, that's damn. weird. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I had to restart yeah. my computer to get rid of that. But anyway. Uh, for Infinite Respawn, I'm Oak Tree. I'm Griff. I'm chicken. I'm back. See ya. Bye. Bye.